So now we're going to do a colour overlay. As always, we would start off by wiping. Of course, this wipe would be the wipe at the end of the preparation. Give it a little waft just to make sure it's dehydrated off. We're going to use our pH connector. This is our secondary dehydrator. As we go over with our pH connector, we're obviously very careful not to get any of it on the skin, so we just want it over the surface of the nail plate. As it's a dehydrating liquid, the only benefit would be for it to be over the actual nail plate. On with our base coat, otherwise known as our strength getting as close as we can to the cuticle and pulling forward, as close as we can to the second cuticle and the side wall and pulling forward and then the third stroke down the side. Before we put our hand into the lamp we're always going to do a four check system. I'm going to check for any gel inside wall number one, any gel inside wall number two, any gel touching the cuticle number three and if there were we'd of course use our fabulous gold tool just to remove them and wipe it down on the mat. And our fourth check, we're using our overhead light, which I think is out of shot of the camera, yes it is, just to check that the gel is going in a continuous straight line so there's no dips, bumps, ridges, and we use the light to be able to determine if there's any imperfections on the surface of the nail plate. Pop that hand in the lamp for me, please, madam. So it's a 30 second cure, <coughs> excuse me, it's a 30 second cure per layer in LED and two minutes in UV. Of course, if I were doing a full set on the client, I'd be working on a finger on the other hand whilst that hand's in the lamp. So in the salon, there would be no sort of dead time. There's always something to be doing. If the client's having her hand soaked off, we of course get her a cup of coffee. Uh, we work on her toes, perhaps. There's never any time in the salon or in life in general to sit and do nothing. So the base coat's in for 30 seconds. We're then going to do a second coat of base coat. As I said earlier on the preparation video, this client's actually got quite damaged nails. So we're going to ensure we've got two coats of the bottle base to give her a little bit of strength underneath the colour. And side or side or cuticle overhead, and in she goes again. If her clients were, uh, if the client's nails were extremely damaged, or she had on extensions, or naturally long nails like myself, incredibly long nails I have, you'd be better off working with the Bellissima Pot Clear. So if you're looking just to purely protect the nails from the colour, one coat of base is fine. If you're looking for a little bit of strength, two coats of base is fine. If you're looking for a lot of strength, two coats from the pot range is much, much better. And I'll show you some instructional videos with the pot gel later on. That way we'll be able to uh, show you tips and sculptures. Out you come please. So on we go with the colour now. Colour always goes on in two layers. First layer is to cover the surface area, second layer is to cover the areas of shadow. And of course we want to cap the edge of the nails to make sure that we've got the tip the same colour as the top and we've got no chipping or lifting issues and in she goes again. So the reason we put our colour on in two layers, colour obviously contains pigment, therefore the pigment itself will create a barrier inside the lump that could mean that the gel might not cure properly. So if we did our colour too thick, we could find that the lump wouldn't be strong enough to cure all the way through the layers, which could leave a soggy little wet layer of gel in between the layers. It's the same reason that we always start off with a clear base. The base coat itself has no barriers in because it's, it's completely clear, therefore we know it's always going to cure 100% in the lamp. If it cures 100% in the lamp, then we're obviously aware that we're not going to cause a surface mould. If we had wet gel on the nail, we would of course cause a surface mould. On we go with our second coat of the two coats of colour required. And of course this coat, we're looking to cover up the nail completely. We want to make sure that there's no areas of shadow within the colour because this is going to be our final coat before the top coat. When capping on short nails, if you get a little bit of gel on the skin, don't worry about it, just remove it before it goes into the lamp and then wipe it off of your finger. So that's the second coat of colour on now. Now we simply need to finish it with the top coat. So just to recap, we have wiped the nail after the preparation. That's the first dehydrator, is the nail wipe solution. PHC is the secondary dehydrator. The base coat is the strength. The colour obviously makes it pretty. And then the top coat is the protector. And the reason the top coat is the protector is because it's non-porous, which means it doesn't soak up Indian spices, inky newspapers or beetroot, but it also won't soak up the soak away solution, the remover that we use to take the gel off with. Therefore, before we attempt to soak off, we always remove all of the top coat, meaning that the gels will soak off in 12 minutes, causing absolutely no damage behind. As we've capped our colour, we will of course cap our top coat. 
and our four check side or side of cuticle overhead, pop that hand in the lamp. The fourth check we're actually looking out for air bubbles, dips, bumps, ridges, ski jump nails where they flick up at the end, any ridges, any problems at all, any imperfections that we can obviously then eliminate using our tool to scrape out an air bubble or potentially stab the air out of it or whatever the circumstances may be so that every single layer on every single nail is absolutely perfect and of course we'll finish off by wiping so I have my wipes prepped and ready. This is an automatic lamp, by the way. Um, we don't sell lamps um, at the moment at Bellissima. Um, you can obviously buy UV LED lamps on eBay, etc, etc. So when the nail comes out, we check it's perfect and give it a wipe.